So what is the definition of a CRM? This is the case when the oscillator does not vibrate, just the decay down. Okay? So this comes from this equation. Okay. So how can you measure CR? You measure K and you measure M and you can estimate the CR. Okay. Okay. There are many notations, many symbols. K, M, CR, C, zeta, square root 1 minus zeta square, omega D and omega N. That's the number, <coughs> or that's the vocabulary that is necessary to communicate with vibratory system. You must know the vocabulary to communicate with the vibratory system, right? Otherwise, you cannot speak with him or her. So please learn this vocabulary very well. And write down in your, on your note the definition of those vocabulary. And that will enable you to communicate Okay? And all these things was done uh, in two ways. Okay? Last lecture, we suppose that we have a car. And that has a suspension system. Okay. Very good car, good looking car. This is just a schematic um, illustration of the front field. And that suspension system will move <laughs> up and down. So we modeled this motion as this we call modeling. Okay. <coughs> so modeling is very important. I mean, real world does not give you skill box type M and K and the reference frame. You cannot see those kind of things in the real world, okay? That's, a, that's, that's the, uh, the output of modeling. Why we do modeling? To understand easily okay? the things we are experiencing. We need a model, we need, we need a model, right? How to understand the theory that governs the relation between young handsome boy and the beautiful young lady? What is the governing equation? To get the governing equation, you have to somehow simplify the physical parameters, the relation that governs in those relations, right? And you have to make uh, some order. Okay, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you succeed to do that, you can be a really, not only a rich man, but you might get a Nobel Prize, right? You might have some mathematical model that can completely describe the relation between man and woman. It's a modeling, okay? So usually what we have to do in the, in, in the first place, is to make a model that mimics the physical behavior. Okay? When I run, okay, somebody can model, hey, this guy has a mass and spring that model the stiffness of my leg, okay? Is modeling. So modeling is very critical and we will learn how to model the physical system later on. And then what
what we did, we apply the uh, governing law. We apply the law that governs the system. Okay. We apply the laws. So that was, in this case, Newton's second law. This can be anything. What would be other candidate besides of Newton's second law for this polyvortical system, dynamic system? Now, what did you learn in dynamics? What kind of laws did you learn in dynamics? First, Newton's second law. And then? Energy method. And third? Okay, principle of in-person momentum. Those are three laws you learned in dynamics. Okay. Maybe you could think that you have three different tools that can analyze the dynamic system. So we can use maybe energy tools. What's the goodness of using energy principles? Okay, energy principle usually involves velocity and displacement. And the velocity and displacement, kinematics of velocity of displacement is much, much simpler than kinematics of acceleration. So it's kinematically much, much simpler. Okay. And out there's other properties too. So we use uh, Newton's law, and we, we got this. If you have a C over here. What kind of energy principle we can use for this system? If for simplicity, c equals zero. Then there is only m and k, and suppose that is vibrating, open up. Then, <coughs> energy must be conserved. Right? So I can say total energy that is composed by potential energy and kinetic energy is constant. I say there is a cold made x of t. Then we could say the potential energy, and I elongated this by x, then I have potential energy that is one half k x squared. This is because the force and displacement that lead has linear relation. This is K. And potential energy from state one to two is worked on one and two. And that's in the integration one and two F dot dr. And in this case, F is Kx. And zero to X. <coughs> so that's, you may remember from your dynamics node and you forgot where you, you, you put in, right? You, you, you don't know where, where is your dynamics node, right? Do you remember where is your dynamics node? Maybe somewhere in this earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> 